The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me, believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me, sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. For if anyone hears my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn him. For I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words is something to judge him. The word that I spoke, it will condemn him on the last day because I did not speak on my own. But the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say, I say as the Father told me. My dear friends, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. I'm reminded when we were fourth year high school in Pampanga, we have the electronics class, and we have to assemble the the a radio, AM, FM, the, the one with the tubes. So we have the model, we call it even Gemma, because it models yeah. So uh, while we are working, all of a sudden, no, one classmate of mine maybe made a mistake and psh, it burst no, and it caught fire. And our teacher, Father Palomo now, no, uh, was very kind. Immediately, he helped him no, uh, and then to stop the fire. I was touched. He did not blame. He did not punish my classmate. He went there to help us. I'm reminded of this because of what Jesus tells us today. I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. God knows how weak we are. God knows na mahina lang tayo, madaling magkasala, madaling matukso. Pero nandito siya, hindi para pagalitan, kundi para tulungan tayo. Ang Panginoon Diyos ay hindi pulis na, okay, sinasabi sa atin, God sees me. God sees me. Hindi para hulihin tayo kapag nagkasala. God sees me so that He would assist me. He would help me. He would forgive me because He did not come to condemn the world. I entered Don Bosco, Makati, in 1964 when I was in grade 4 and I was already touched by that prayer which up to now I am still praying in the evening what Don Bosco taught us dear mother Mary ever virgin help me to save my soul Hail Mary and then we pray this for three times help me to save my soul Don Bosco instilled to the mind of his boys no, the importance of saving one soul. Jesus even stressed that to us. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his soul? Don Bosco even would say, I have only one soul. No, the devil was tempting him. If I have many souls, I might give you even one, but I have only one soul. And, and I would save it for the Lord. Yes, dear friends, what a consoling thought. No, na meron tayong Diyos na hindi tayo papagalitan, hindi tayo paparusahan kasi nagkamali. 
tayo ay tutulungan niya. After all, He created us out of love and He wants us to be united with Him in heaven. Gagawin niya lahat ang kanyang makakaya. He would send all the graces that a person needs in order to save his soul. Yan ang plano ni God. God wants to save us. But we have to cooperate. Dapat magtulungan tayo. Sabi nga, sabi nga ni St. Augustine, God who created us without asking our consent will not save us without giving our consent and cooperation.